Miss Yuane, so you know how you told us about logistics? Making products and sending them around the world so we can buy them. What happens to products when we don't need them anymore? Wow, great question. Years ago, when people created products, they never thought about the impact these products would have on the environment, especially once we're finished using them. Even now, you can see all types of plastics and materials in the oceans. Oh, like plastic bags, glass bottles, uh, plastic containers, plastic bottles, and straws. Eh, Miss Joanna? Exactly, Talia. We often don't think about where our rubbish goes, right? Once we've put it in the rubbish, we forget about it. But rubbish doesn't just disappear. So what happens to it depends on what it's made of. For example, some rubbish decomposes, which means it breaks down and rots, like leftover food, scraps, and paper. We also have rubbish that doesn't break down, and this type of rubbish goes to landfills. The rubbish just sits there for a long, long time and begins to smell and puts bad toxins or poisonous substance into the land. But now we have some amazing technology that can recycle rubbish or waste that doesn't break down and turn the rubbish into things we can use. So a coke can can take over 80 years to break down. Now we can recycle them and turn them into new cans. Glass bottles can take 1 million years to break down. Now we can recycle them and turn them into new bottles. Plastic bags and bottles can take up to 500 years to break down. Now, with the use of technology and design, plastic bags and bottles can be turned into things like bags, blankets, shoes, furniture and much more. Protecting the environment is one of the most important things we can do. So using science, technology, arts and engineering means we can look after our planet for future generations.